Hi, Roy here on my channel, Roy Reads Anything, something I've been doing for 62 years because today is the day we're shooting this is my birthday. Hooray! And if I've been listening to the radio in Brighton Maternity Hospital with your baby ears, with my baby, well, babies can't hear straight away, can they? <laughs> Is that um, like you think their eyes don't open until they're six weeks old? Yeah. <laughs> um, round about now, we would have workers' playtime. Woohoo! My favourite. A programme broadcast from a power station in Manchester with Rosemary Squires. Um, leading on to Listen with Mother for children under five. So I've been all over that. Today's story, A Tale of the Little Car. The Little Car Has a New Coat by Lella Berg. Then Woman's Hour, a programme that's still going. Still still listening by tea time, could have had Mrs Dale's Diary. I'm worried about Jim. As talked about in the um, video I made about BBC soap operas. Um, then Telly Wise... Um, Ice skating. There was only one channel at this time, so Woeful. ice skating, Woeful. and uh, we got this rather, rather scary picture of comedian Jimmy Edwards wielding a um, hypodermic syringe. So he's playing a doctor with Ronnie Barker and June Whitfield. So bizarrely, all these people were still on television when I was actually old enough to watch it, including Harry Worth, another comedian who's on the cover. Anyway. Yes, just thought I'd give a little bit of a birthday book haul. Um, so presents. First of all, a shout out to the paper made by the fair hands of Dr. Jenny. There's, there's paint, there's layers of shiny things, there's sparkly things. So I obviously didn't really want to open the presents because the paper was too good <laughs> to spoil. Um, but what did I find? So I think this is probably the first birthday that's been influenced by booktube because one mm, thing i got was indeed. the boxcar children so this comes out of comments from a video or a couple of videos i made about gangs of child detectives uh so here in england we have enid blyton and her secret seven and famous five unknown in the US where you've got your Nancy Drew and Hardy boys um, but some people mentioned the boxcar children never heard of them either so and apparently it's a series of about you know vast number of stories well loved by many people so be filling a gap in my knowledge there with the boxcar children um, I'm hoping they're like hobos who <laughs> Travel the uh, travel the land solving crimes. Um, then we both saw this on a video by Criminally. It's Ollie made me do it. Yeah, one of the many things, um, including, including this moustache that still exists, is being steadily overtaken by beard. Hurrah! Um, anyway, yes, translated novelizations of two Godzilla movies from the 50s actually it's from 1955 oh, to, crikey. That's talk, my, talking my of birth, birth years year, yes yeah. <laughs> born from the crucible <laughs> of the atomic age that's me is godzilla uh so this looks awesome and it's a lovely lovely book physically so really looking forward to reading that um then the mother load a vintage paperback of On the Road by Jack Kerouac. So this giant pan was the first UK paperback edition. And I've really wanted this for a long time as a sort of culturally significant object. Um, you know, picture of Jack Kerouac himself looking cool. It's the explosive epic of the beat generation. Wild and unrestrained, say the Evening Standard. And we, we I'm not can, sure I'd have bought it. Imagine I'd we're going to get there's, there's there's jazz, there's snogging, <laughs> there's a fight, um, crazy mixed up novel about frustrated youth getting nowhere fast. 
slightly um is is that a, is that a positive review from the manchester evening news this is the odyssey of the beat generation the frenetic young men and their women hmm. now we now we now we see the yeah um... i knew i shouldn't have been <laughs> um oh, what is it now we see the now we see the violence inherent in the system <laughs> Racing furiously across America to wherever life is fastest, where girls are hottest, parties wildest, bop is to be heard, marijuana to be smoked, or a road to be taken at 90 plus, a neurotic hunger for sensation and experience. It's our own story, exactly. It is really, yeah, yeah. well, you know, so it's a fantastic thing. It's probably not going to come out of its, um, its, its coat here because it's uh, very valuable. So, yeah, love to get that. As it happened, I bought myself very cheaply because it's a terrible, partly eaten edition, the first American paperback of this same book. And I'll, I'll be doing a thing about these, but no one's ever successfully got these to mate in captivity. <laughs> so the hope is after a while we might be seeing a, a tiny little copy of visions of cody emerging in the spring so those are my presents All right so segueing into recent reads recent weeds recent and we didn't do a tag video this week myself and dr jenny who is you know i've clumsily not included her in the shot otherwise you would see her in all her glory uh, so let's hear the recent reads of dr jenny the recent by reads popular request dr jenny well, the first recent read wasn't so much a, re a read as a look at all the pretty pictures because it's a book of reproductions of paintings of a Danish artist called Anna Anka, who was one of the group of painters known as the Skagen or Skagen or Skagen painters, mm. late 19th century um, Nordic countries painters um and i was i bought the book ages ago and i looked at it before and i wanted to look at all the pretty pictures again so it's just a, it's a really cheap i think it cost me like 50p on uh amazon and but i just wanted to look at the pictures so nice. i did and it was very pretty well put, put a few pictures yeah. up for people that aren't just looking at my my reactions yeah that's a good idea uh they're not pretty they're fantastic i mean they're just amazing studies in light and shade um i read a couple more poems out of the red wheelbarrow which was a famous collection by william garlos williams which i read in full early in the year i wanted to have a look at mm -hmm. um i also read some poems from this fantastic anthology aha uh -huh. one of my favorite all-time favorite anthologies i can't say all-time favorite because all time hasn't happened yet but staying alive up until now it's, yeah it's published by blood axe books or a really yep. good poetry publisher um so i've been dipping into that um and thoroughly enjoying most of it i read pat barker's book about the trojan war called the silence of the girls so Pat Barker famously wrote a trilogy called Oh Regeneration. Re Regeneration. I think. Yeah, First World First War, isn't War. it? This is part of a kind of wave of let's think about ancient Greek myths and legends from the point of view of forgotten characters, usually women, um, who never get to tell their own stories. And um, this is told from the point of view of a princess called Briseis who was looted from a neighboring city to Troy and given to Achilles as his slave basically um, and it's her telling you the story of the Trojan War from her direct point of view yeah. and it was fantastic it was just totally engrossing um couldn't wait to get back to it every night and every morning 
Always didn't, good. Didn't want to be reading anything else. Didn't want to be playing on Facebook. Um, thought it was terrific. Recommend it to anybody. Um, I followed that up with a YA fantasy, urban fantasy, I suppose, called Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. It's set in the UK um, and it posits a world in which monsters exist but the monsters have a human form and their monstrousness comes from the fact that they can steal time from human beings um so if they've uh, and accumulate time that they've stolen and then use it to time travel mm. um which is an interesting conceit it was a lot ya um, so Jenny's face sort of went. <laughs> it was okay. It was relatively engrossing. Um, it was quite obvious in terms of some of the plot. The denouement came as quite a surprise to me. There's a bit, a lot of YA novels have a kind of um, flavour of old Mills and Boone about the romantic bits of the see what i mean mm. uh so there was a lot of that uh too much of that um but i read it and i enjoyed it and i read the next one and finally mm. i Talking read of enjoyment and thoroughly enjoyed a christmas truce it's the book that's sweeping the nation the book with the faint central scent of sandalwood <laughs> that's gonna get sponsorship from the Faint sense the, of sandalwood, sandalwood marketing, marketing board. board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Christmas Juice by Emma Bennett. It was fantastic. Um, I think my only real minor cavil um, was that the fact that it actually went right up to New Year's Day and we're breaking the rules of christmas breaking the rules of, yeah well certainly <laughs> breaking the rules of christmas movies which is what we what yeah. i mainly know as romances for christmas um it started a bit too far from christmas and ended up a bit too far the other direction from christmas but that was just a minor thing i thought the main characters were fantastic i loved the young woman who was kind of the point of view character there's a delightful, absolutely delightful um, MacGuffin creature, not wanting to give plots away, really. <laughs> yeah, no spoilers. Um, no, no. But, but it's the, a dog. It, it is. It's a lovely little <laughs> puppy. It's just, I mean, really well described. Um, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Fantastic. Um, would read anything else that emma bennett writes cool whereas i end. finished june june by frank herbert sf classic um and yeah re really liked it i think i've got three things to say about it now what were they uh well one of them and this is not an not a, at all an original observation is it's it is very much a science fiction book but it is works a bit like a fantasy book so things you get in fantasy the world building immersion into an interesting world even a sort of quasi feudal setting even things like maps i suppose and all, all of all of that is being done in a science fiction way and i think that was a novelty at the time and it works really well would be good for someone who is a fantasy reader but doesn't tend to like SF, you, you probably feel quite at home here. Um, another thing I would say is I can see why hippies liked it. So this book's been around a long time. In It was in my youth, it was kind of one of those books that would be treated as a sort of hippie Bible sort of thing. So it sort of fits into the same world as progressive rock double albums. <laughs> um Roger gigantic Dean posters yeah, all, all of all of that partly because it's got drugs in it and you know in a time when the idea not necessarily the reality of mind expanding drugs was a thing you know here you've got a 
a galaxy where a drug called spice has all sorts of beneficial effects is is mined on this desert planet basically that's the that's the thing that kind of drives the whole plot but it's not just that there's a sort of mystical transcendent minds being able to sort of um you know perceive beyond time all, all that sort of thing so at a time when you thought yes this kind of um sort of knowing higher realities is just one more joss stick away <laughs> this this would work really well um and the final thing is it's quite a big book but it's not a bloated book um it's it it cracks along there's a lot of action um to start with it's like loads of action it's like where 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 what, what what's happening we're in the middle of all this dramatic stuff so lots happens there are some leaps forward in time that mean you don't you know what in a you could have this expanded into a whole trilogy of just this i know i know there are other dune books but you know so things like sort of progression and training of a character are just happen in in gaps you you leap forward and it's and it's and it's moved on so it's actually um pretty pacey so um not a book to be scared of it's not gigantic i think if i'd come across this if i actually read it younger that would have needed to happen for it to become welded to my soul the way it is for some people um but i'd really like it probably read do dune dune messiah probably watch the movie maybe even watch the other movie we will see oh, wow. so really enjoyed that um and i'm still reading i keep saying han lord of a shattered land by howard andrew jones so enjoying that circle back to that later right then back to my birthday cheers everybody see you soon with something else bye bye and bye from jenny bye bye